A perfect schedule is one which provides complete rhythm and routine into a child's life without creating any sense of overwhelm. One which is focused on creating a perfect balance between the activities that are focused on being productive and the ones that gives our brains a break. In this current lockdown situation, the importance of a perfect productive schedule for a child becomes even more important. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mom's Nest. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I create the most productive schedule for my first grader. I will share the complete process and template of creating the most productive perfect schedule. You can also use the same process to customize the schedule for your child's need and age. So without further ado, let's get started. The first step into the process of creating a perfect schedule for your child is to identify all the tasks, activities and chores your child do in a day and segregating them into major categories. I have assigned all the tasks and the chores my child do in a day into five major categories. These are personal chores, household chores, academic tasks, free play or physical movements and after school studies. Now, we will see each category into depth and see what tasks I have included in them. Now, the first category is personal chores. This category includes all the routine jobs that the child has to do every single day. The second category is household chores and this include all the jobs that a child has to do around the house in a day. The next category is academic studies. My child is a first grader. His school has already started taking virtual classes every single day. He also receives a lot of tasks and worksheets to do and upload into the ERP system of the school. The next category is free play or physical activities. Now this list is going to be really long for all the kids I'm sure. Now the last one into the segment is home study. I'm not going to get into much details as I've already made an exhaustive video on this topic. I will link it below and you can check it out. Now, the next step is to create the actual planner. Here, I am using this template of my daily blog schedule. This is from funcheaporfree.com by Jordan Page. It is absolutely free and can be edited easily. I will give a link to this in the description box. You can check and download it from there. Now, one important thing that I want you to notice here is that instead of creating an hour by hour plan, I'm using blocks of time. What happens is when we are creating a planner, especially for kids, we have to keep it flexible and we have to provide breathers in between two blocks of time. Here, I am using a two hour block starting from 8 a.m. in the morning. You can choose the time blocks as per your child's age. Now I'll start writing tasks and activities into each time block. While doing so, I'll make sure that I do not make the time blocks either too rigid or too loose. Both of them will create a sense of overwhelm and disinterest into the child. Now the trick here is to start with those tasks that are fixed, that the child has to do at a specific period of time like waking up, making their bed 
or if the child has virtual classes then there will be a fixed time of having those classes having lunch breakfast that will give a place to start making the planner for us now this is our final planner I have planned the task in such a way to get maximum productivity. Kids are most energetic in the morning hours. At least I can say so for Adit. So I try to get maximum done in the first two time blocks. He gets 30 minutes of screen time in two blocks of time. I have also provided with flexibility to choose certain tasks as well. For example, in free play, he gets to choose what he wants to do. He can play with blocks. or magnetize or lego or he can just draw and paint or just mess around with his dad our day ends at 8 o'clock in the night after that it's just dinner reading books and spending some quality family time now few very important points you need to keep in mind while creating the schedule for your child first Make sure you involve your child while choosing the task, activity, chores for him or her. When kids are involved into certain tasks, they are more likely to follow it. Second one is to choose the time blocks wisely. Do not keep them too rigid or too loose. It will only create a feeling of overwhelm in the child. And third and most important one is to let them enjoy. Make it fun. At the end of the day it is extremely important to enjoy what we are doing. In the current scenario when the things have become really tough I truly hope that this schedule will bring some much needed calmness and clarity into our child's life. I truly hope that this planner will bring some routine rhythm and sanity into you and your child's life if you like this video don't forget to share your thoughts feedbacks and suggestions into the comment section and if you are visiting our channel for the very first time don't forget to subscribe to it we will see you into the next video till then have a great day bye bye take care